Hello everyone, Tarantula Dan here, I hope you're doing well today. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about a few different things, uh, giving some mentions to various things sort of going on, uh, which by the way, I did this last week and the week before, I believe it was, um, literally just general sort of mentions, and people seem to really enjoy you know, the whole mentioning of other things going on. Uh, so I figured I might make this like part of my weekly videos, um, looking at things on social media, different things going on with different channels, and giving them a mention. Uh, so if this is something that you actually enjoy, you, uh, you know, if you're one of the people that do go and check out the things that I mentioned, then please let me know in the comments below. Uh, it'd be great to have feedback as to whether this is actually enjoyed by other people. Uh, but for today, I will be giving some mentions to a few different things. Uh, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, or mentioning some of the past rehousings, how those uh, spiders are settling in. Give a mention to some uh, rehousings I'm going to be doing, um, sort of coming up. And also, I've had, um, I think I've had like one malt, I think, which isn't really very exciting, but still, I will still show you that. And then I also have uh, some food, so I'm thinking maybe a couple of uh, inverts will get some, uh, some food as well. So, let's start with the mentions. So the first mention that I'd like to give is to a business called Bugbox. Now I have been in touch with Bugbox for quite some time now. Wonderful young man who won Welsh Entrepreneur of the Year last year or the year before. And uh, he's actually going to be on television on Monday, uh, this Monday coming on the BBC on a show called uh, Young Welsh and Pretty Minted. And he's going to be on that so I, I personally will be making sure to sit down and watch that and uh, I'd recommend that you guys do as well. The reason I'm mentioning him is one, he does have a business which sells inverts, so it's always great to give mention to you know, up and coming businesses. But also, he messaged me a few weeks ago and asked me to do a video for him. And I was like, yeah, of course, like, I'm, I'm always happy to do videos for people. Um, and the video was to do with um, my top tips for helping people get over their fear of inverted rates. He did label it as insects because that's what he's more into. Um, but he came to me because obviously I have sort of a good variety of things. So I did this video, he said keep it between 30 seconds and two minutes and of course I rambled on and rambled on and I trimmed it down as much as I could and I got it to like two and a half minutes. But I think it's really, really good and if you are someone that is watching my channel, if you are scared of spiders or anything else, or maybe someone else that you know is scared of spiders um, and you're watching my video because of that, I would certainly recommend going over to the link in the description. It will be the top link to Bugbox. I click on the link and watch the videos there. Uh, it is not just me there, it is myself. I think I'm number four. Uh, there's also Peter Webster. Everyone will know Peter. He's probably the nicest guy in the, ho in the hobby, at least that I've met personally. He's, he's wonderful. He really is just a man with a heart of gold. Uh, a lot of respect for that man. Uh, also, the very wonderful Princess Sophie Pink um, is the up and coming uh, YouTube su superstar who I believe has actually passed a thousand subscribers now. So, huge uh, well done to you, Sophie. And then there is Arachnotube, uh, which is kind of hard to say in a way because um, I'm used to calling him Predator or Prey Online, and having to call him Arachnotube is kind of confusing, even though. Um, my name isn't actually Daniel, and yet I still expect people to call me Daniel. So I always get like a little bit sort of, you know, confused. It's going to take a while for me to get used to that change. But um, yeah, so there's a few of us. On, few, uh, so there's a few of us on there that are giving our top tips for getting over the fear of insects, creepy crawlers, sort of things. And I would really like for you to go over, check out those videos, just watch them. Some of them are only really, really short, and. Um, while you're there, maybe just check out uh, Bookbox's social media. He's on Facebook and Instagram as well. So I'd love you to go check him out and uh, don't even say that you, that you came from me, just go and check him out for what he has. He's a really, really nice guy. And uh, so yeah, have to sort of mention him. The second person I'd like to mention is actually someone I just mentioned in that um, part about the, the book box, And that is Arachnotube, Gar. And there's two reasons why I want to mention him. Firstly, uh, because he has just got a very wonderful uh, Nephila. Um, I love Nephila. Nephila is actually, the video of my Nephila um, is actually the most watched video on my channel with I think six and a half, seven million views. So um, the fact that Gar has got one and he has it free roaming in his room is just wonderful. And uh, the videos are absolutely fantastic. Gar is an amazing man, really, really clever, really knowledgeable, and very passionate about what he does. And yeah, he has his really cool Nephila. So I'm gonna put um, a card up which sort of be, I think it's up here. There'll be a card um, to 
one of his Nifilla videos. Go over, check him out, subscribe to him, comment, and just enjoy his content for what it is. Top bloke, really, really good. There's another reason that I want to mention him, and that is because um, he has actually inspired me to do something that I've never tried before, which is growing chilies. Now, I, I love chilies, I love hot food. Uh, if you've ever been out with me and we have food, I, I love really spicy food, absolutely love it. And not too long ago, um, he sent me some of his um, his hot sauce. I think the video is called Gargling Gar's Hot Sauce. Uh, and again, card up here, really, really nice um, that he made. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna try and make some chili sauce myself. So of course I have to begin by growing the chilies. And uh, as you can see, um, these two are growing really, really well. What are they? So these are, um, the, uh, that's Naga um, standard chili. And this one is Habanero. But this one isn't actually growing that much, so uh, I'm going to give it a just give it a quick water. It's like watering spiders. Um, so yeah, but Gar has actually inspired me to start growing chilies, and this has only been like two weeks. I was going to sort of go through the whole, whole process, but I thought, who wants to see me growing chilies? Like yeah, as a time lapse, I'd be a bit boring. So uh, I'll just give you little updates, and when they start growing bigger and bigger, I will again just sort of mention these um, these cool little chilies. So. To Gar, thank you for that, and please go and check him out. He has some really, really good content. Um, he's an absolutely top bloke. My, actually, I actually I have a photo on front screen of me and Gar, where I met him for the first time at my very first BTS lectures, which I'll mention that in a second. Um, we met up um, and sat down and we had food together. I've told you about my lectures stories. Um, if you haven't, there's plenty of videos of them where I'm talking about them. I, I love them. I should just do a video called my BTS lecture story and then I can just sort of reference that. It might be easier. If you want me to do that, let me know. Um, but I met him and I have there's one photo of me and him. Um, we had lots of drink. Um, Gar had a lot more than me and was drank so much that the next day he went home and didn't make it to the lectures. So, um, but yeah, really, really nice guy. And um, yeah, just go check him out. Um, you definitely won't regret doing so. So the next mention is going to be for Invert Shows UK. Now I, of course, I've dealt with them a lot. They are a really, really great bunch of people that run the shows. Um, I have a plaque on my door from 2018 because of uh, me filming the shows, just happily going along with volunteering. And they got me this really cool plaque to sort of thank me for it, which is just, yeah, I love it. It's like I'm on the door to Animal Room as you come in. And um, yeah, the next show is going to be the Northern show, which is up in Halifax. I'm going to put a picture here of the actual, um, all the information. It's the 29th of March, so it's just a few weeks away. Uh, sadly, I cannot make this show because I am on call for work uh, that weekend, and I can't, I, I, I can't go, which is a real shame. Uh, the, in fact, the next Invo show that I can make is going to be the Southern show, which is in November. I already have the Friday and the Monday booked off for that. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be the next invert show. If you've never seen an invert show, if you don't know what they're like, look at the um, card up here to the playlist to the um, to the shows I attended, which was the North, South, East, and Western show. And uh, yeah, go along and if you're able to do so, have a really, really good day. Go and buy some cool inverts, and uh, yeah, it's just fantastic. There's also, of course, the animal um, the animal shows there as well. So there's plenty of things, regardless of whether you're buying spiders or you're just taking the kids you know, for, for a day out. So, huge shout out to Inverse Shows UK. I will, of course, mention all of their shows that are upcoming uh, closer to the dates. And if you go onto the Facebook page of Inverse Shows UK, again, all the dates are there, so you can make sure that you don't miss them like me. So this is gonna be the last kind of mention, I guess. And the reason for that is because it is only two weeks away. I just mentioned it. It is the BTS lectures. I mentioned it um, when talking about um, Arachnotube, I went to say Predator for online then. Um, yeah, the lectures are two weeks today, um, so not long left to go. I am honestly so excited. There's loads of reasons why I'm excited, um, but overall, they are really, really good. Um, I know a lot of people that are going to be going to there. I've got a whole bunch of patrons that are going to be going uh, you know, to the lectures. Um, I know some people are actually flying from overseas to come for the lectures, so shout out to Kevin, who I speak to um, on Instagram a lot. Um, and I'm gonna be sort of planning to you know, spend as much time with him as I can whilst there. Also Conrad, um, who I met um, last year. In fact, uh, here's a picture of me and Kevin um, from the BTS last year. This is the guy that's flying over from the States. And then also over here is a picture of um, me and Conrad. 
um, I'm doing this in my hand, you can't see it because of the picture here. Um, and he is flying over from Poland um, to come to Vegas, so that's really, really cool. As well as I know um, Janine uh, Marshall is over from um, America as well. Um, there's a whole bunch of people that are just traveling from all over the place to come to these lectures. There are still some spaces available. If you're able to come to the lectures, please look at the uh, website in the description, the BTS, um, and come along. Whether it's just for the lectures or whether it's for the whole trip, is entirely up to yourself. I'd recommend doing the um, lunch and dinner, but not everyone is able to do so. I know that Greg, um, who is, again, like much like Peter Webster, one of the nicest guys that I know, um, I know he will be coming for the lectures only, so of course it would be great to spend time with you, Greg, have a chat, um, of course have a couple of drinks and things, it would be really, really wonderful. Um, so yeah, the lectures are very fast approaching, it's two weeks, I cannot wait to meet all the people that are coming over, you know, to sort of spend time and to learn from what are literally the best people in the hobby of sort of tarantulas that are going to be there. Um, and to some of the people that I've spoken to who are who have said to me that it's going to be their first time going to these lectures, um, I can assure you, uh, you have nothing to worry about. You can go in, you can talk, there's so many people to talk to, and you'll fit right in, you'll have a really, really good time. So any doubts that you have, just get rid of them. <laughs> there's no reason to worry at all, it's going to be great. Um, I have a litre of Jack Daniels. Um, it's not a target to get through to the lectures, but at the same time, if I come home and the bottle is empty, I won't be sad. So uh, if, you, if you like Jack Daniels, please, um, you know, come and have a drink with me. Uh, it would be, be really, really good. So yeah, the lecture's um, two weeks away. Um, there's still time to get booked up, I believe. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see, well, I know a lot of you will see you there. And if you if you book up like between now and then, then hopefully I'll see you there as well. Um, it's gonna be fantastic. Really, really good weekend. Okay then, so mentions out of the way. By the way, I do apologise. I went on for far too long. Uh, if you're still here, a huge thank you. Um, please, if you got it, made it this far through the video, maybe click the like button uh, to let me know that you're still here. Um, if you've signed off by, by now, then click the dislike. Um, <laughs> hopefully you're still here anyway. Um, but yeah, so the, that's the mentions done. I am gonna be um, going over a few other things now. Uh, one of the things I wanna sort of, sort of show you, um, I will get some closer footage of this on screen, but, um, I ordered some cockroaches because I needed some, some more feeders for my animals. Um, and the, it, I mean, the order's fine, it's, it came and everything, but I ordered um, some cockroaches and it's between 10 and 200, which just seems like such a such a big gap. It's not like, oh, it could be between like 100 and 150 to allow a little bit. It's like, if they send me 11, then technically that's still within what I ordered. So. But yes, I've had uh, two of these dishes. I'm covering my address um, on this. But it actually says on here, 10 to 200 medium dubia roaches um, between 10 and 20 mil, which is, is right. The size wise, they're, they're all correct. Um, so I have two of these like uh, peppy dishes of these, which is, um, yeah, the packaging was really, really good, by the way. I'll, I think I got these on Amazon. If I can remember the seller, if I can find it, I'll put it in the description. Uh, but yeah, it came really, really, uh, fast and they all look healthy. There's no dead ones in there at all. So it's really really good But it's just the amount that whole between 10 and 200. It's just it, Why 10 and 200? You know, you just have like between 10 and 20 or 150 and 200 But you know that 10 you might as well say oh even, there might be some there might be 200 like I don't know It's just it's kind of irritating me how big that gap is so but yeah got some cockroaches uh, they are not for feeding, they are for adding to the colony to you know, try and raise up. But I do also have some silkworms, I'll get some footage of these from the screen now. Um, and these, I don't really want to feed both of these off, these are sent me. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is, one of these I will rear um, for, you know, to try and uh, breed them and have like a, a proper sort of setup for them. And then the other ones, I haven't decided which tub yet, will be fed off because I'm going to try and feed the Celadonia um, and the assassin bugs which I'll show you in a, in a little while as well and a few of the spiders I'm just thinking you know what I, these might be a nice treat for some of the for some of the spiders so that's what I'm going to do with them. So on about feeding spiders uh, one spider that I am going to feed and there's actually a story to this um, not to do with me feeding it because I haven't fed it yet but to do with this uh, genus of tarantula and this is uh, Teletocartal vagans, the true vagans and the reason I'm mentioning this is because I basically got called an idiot um, last weekend. Um, I was with um, 
someone I know called Stephanie, really, really nice girl, uh, lovely girl in fact, and we were t together and we were having a talk um, about various things, and we were talking about uh, Talita Cartel, and I think it's because she's got the Talita Cartel abapalosum, and the, for some reason the spelling came up, and I know it's spelled T-L-A-L-T-O-C-A-T-L, -L um, but for some reason, like, just being sort of like half asleep and whatnot, I just sort of said, oh, it's T-I-L, I missed that, I know. And she was saying, no, no, it's definitely T-L-A-L, and I was like, it isn't. And, of course, I was wrong, I don't know why, because I know it's, I know how it's spelled, because I have on the board behind me, I have posters, I've done videos on them, um, you know, I'm very aware of how it's spelled, but for some reason, being half asleep, I just sort of missed out the L, and so, um, she's sort of now kind of a big gloaty that, um, basically I messed up on that and she thinks it's a fantastic and I just really wanted to just leave the hobby and just be done with it so I'm um, joking but um, yeah so I'm gonna try and feed the dragons I literally never see this spider uh, what's really cool about this is I was told uh, when I had it to keep it completely dry so I do I since I've had these I have not sprayed it at all it's actually malted um, I'll get a closer look at this in a minute but it has malted and it is in there and so um, yeah, I kind of figured that I was proved, you know, I got the spelling wrong of a spider that, um, bearing in mind I've, you know, obviously been keeping spiders for ages and this girl has literally been keeping spiders for like a year. And so yeah, I definitely have to give a mention to, to Steph for that. So there you go, Steph. I mentioned the story. Round of applause for you, I hope you're happy. Um, don't really want to speak to you ever again. I'm done with you. Um, so no, I'm going to try and feed that in just a moment. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the camera down and then we'll we'll do that. So this is the Toledo Cartel Vagans, spelled with an L. <laughs> I do apologise by the way. Uh, Ramsey's going mad in the uh, in the background. As you know, I have food. I'm gonna try from this angle. I think it might uh, might be better. Okay, well it appears that the Talita Cartel Dragons is not going to make an appearance, uh, but I'll just very quickly show you, um, there's the, the malt, you see this down here in this corner, so uh, I will leave that silkworm in there and hopefully it will have it when it's ready. So the next update is with the Assassin Bugs, I've had another malt uh, from my Assassin Bugs, uh, well one of them in fact, so I actually have two that are really big, this one down here is huge. This is like, um, he's pretty, he's, I'm going to call him Colossal because he's like the biggest one out of all of them. So uh, the other one's probably like a malt behind or something, but he's just growing amazingly fast. I think, I think whenever there's food in there, I think he always he eats his food and then probably eats the other food as well. But uh, yeah, I really like these. I had to change the setup because of swapping them around with the t Sardonia, the enclosures I swapped. Um, but yeah, I really like these. Um, they are so cool to just sort of on, a, on an evening if I come in here and have just the blue lights on, not the, the overhead lights. And I can just sort of sit and just watch these as they just do their thing, you know. They're really, really, really amazing to watch. So, uh, yeah, if you if ever you sort of see Assassin books for sale, I'd really recommend getting a colony of them and just watching and seeing how they get on. Um, hopefully these will breed in here and I'll be able to sort of keep you know, keep them going, but they're doing really well. I'm really happy with them. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna again do some maintenance, just take out the mold, take out a quick look at that. And then uh, I'm gonna drop some silkworms in and see whether I can uh, get some footage of these feeding as well. So let's take a look at the assassin bugs. So here are the assassin bugs. You can see there's one just down here. Uh, here is the recent mold. You can see it's um, a mold because of how pale they look in comparison to the actual bugs. Uh, and then there's, here's a big one on the top and another big one but not quite as big down here underneath. So um, yeah, we're gonna take out the malt first and take a look at that. And then we'll try and feed them. So here's the malt. You can see they malt the antenna, the uh, the mouth, the everything. They malt the entire thing, very much like mantis. I think it's really impressive that they are able to mould the antenna as well, considering how 
Oh yeah, look, if you look at the ends of the antenna, they're like it's tiny little things, and yet they manage to squeeze out of it. So be really cool. And this is that really cool beak. Okay then, so there's two down here. literally enough for, for one each so now they're just gonna both feed on it apparently I'm in here Josh oh thank you I thought my phone was glitching I was like why, why was it still talking to it that's yeah, me sorry yeah. cheers Josh it's great when you're filming and then and then your brother just brings you uh, a cup of tea. It's right there. Just take it down. And this just shows you how simple these animals are. Like there's one right here that neither of them are, are occupying. And then the other one is just being Let's try and. There you go. And this is the third one. Hopefully, it'll be close enough for it to detect it and take it down. This one's just being a bit of a pain. So I will just leave that in there and hopefully it'll take it down when it's ready. Maybe come back to it later. So I mentioned as well about the T Celadonia that I wanted to show you and I will be trying to feed this in a minute. I am so irritated with this spider. Like it's, it's alive and well, which is of course it's wonderful. Um, as you know, I did the, um, the T Celadonia uh, rehousing video. If you haven't seen that, uh, I'll put a card up here. Please go and check it out. Um, it was a lot of fun to make. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this enclosure looks. Um, it's just perfect for the spider, I think. And in the video, there's one thing and I was like, I hope she doesn't do this one teeny tiny particular thing. And guess what she has done? She has done exactly that. Yeah, it is literally living exactly where I didn't want her to go. It's do, it has done exactly what the uh, regal jumping spider has done. And I need to get her down from there and put her on the cork bark and be like, look, just live there. Like, what? why are you, what, why up there? She hasn't even webbed. She's not there for like a week. She, or over a week. She's just, yeah, she's just, just chilling up there. So that's really annoying. Also, I've got some little, I actually have some plants growing in there. Some like little, looks like a bit like cress. <laughs> I'm not sure what species of, 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 you know, greenery it is, but it looks really cool. So yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna just quickly do a bit of maintenance on, on her, um, on her enclosure. And then we're gonna try and feed her. And um, yeah, let's just see how that goes. Let's try these. I'll grow these tweezers if I can get up and underneath. Oops, a daisy. Knock the knock the camera. Which I should do me a favour because it made a jump. There we go. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful spoiler. As I say, I'm gonna place her somewhere a bit more uh, better for her, I think. Oh, she's just gonna jump. Okay, well she is. She's just down there. She's down there. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to get her to eat, to be fair. I will probably end up just leaving that silkworm in there for her. Um, but I'd rather it be somewhere like this. I just don't want her underneath the lip. That's what I was really worried about. So I want to talk now very quickly about the rehousing. So um, I did the Sabah Blue, the Lampa Palma, uh, the um, Regis. Uh, done a few of the like, little ones since then, like off camera, including I did, uh, I redid the enclosure for the uh, Poclotheria regalis. I don't think I did this one on camera, but I read on that and I'm quite happy with it. Of course, live, some live plants in there, live moss, uh, various sort of tubes. Plenty of substrate for burrowing and climbing, um, and a space to climb. So I did that one off camera. I don't know whether I mentioned that one or not, but if I didn't, then I have mentioned it. Uh, also, I did, uh, what was the one that I did? Um, Pamphobetus, uh, Esmeraldus, I redid that enclosure. And then I've kind of, I've a bit of a thing at the moment where I'm just really happy just redoing all of my enclosures. So I'm gonna be redoing probably uh, tomorrow, which is Sunday. I want to do my Somnopolis Amernia, uh, might do my other Pyrogallus as well. I would love to do the Hocotheria Hanuma Villas Amica and the H Mac. However, they both molted recently, so I don't want to be like disturbing them. They've still all got the entrances to the uh, to the hides all webbed up, so I'm not going to disturb those. I do have um, this spare enclosure over here, which these T Sardonia was in. Um, I don't know what to put in that yet. I was going to, a lot of people said about doing the brackets, which I do like the idea of that, but because my brackets are in these terrestrial enclosures, I would rather maybe try and get some more of these in the future and then have all my bracket females in these so they all match and then just have like a whole shelf of just my, my brackets. So of course it's the B um, Aratum, and this one here, and this one is the B Amelia. So this one is still empty at the moment. I am thinking about maybe putting the P. Sasmi in there. I did rehouse it uh, fairly re recently, but it doesn't, it, it looks fine, but it's a really colorful spider. It's always out. So I think it'd make a really great display, um, great display tarantula in this enclosure. So it's probably going to be the P. Sasmi, I think. Um, and then in the very end one, I will get some footage of this on screen. I never see the spider. And this is the Fonopalma pedoncillo, which is a absolutely gorgeous uh, spider. Um, but she does not really come out very often and is just borrowed. So I, I'm thinking about redoing her enclosure as well. Um, you know, with some more sort of hides and things. The ones that are in there, she's just buried. Um, but I just want to try and make it look a little bit nicer, a bit you know, aesthetically pleasing. So I will be trying to do that one as well. Leaving the Macapalma slightly better because that one still does absolutely nothing. In fact, I'm going to try and feed it now. If it feeds, then there'll be footage of it on the screen. Um, but yeah, this spider never comes out, like ever, which is really, really annoying. So uh, hopefully it will come out. If not, then it won't. And then that'll be the end of that. I've also been trying to breed uh, my grammar soil of pork piece recently. And it's really frustrating because either the male goes in and he's, you know, drumming away and tap, 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 tapping. And the female is just like not interested at all. And then the other times that I'll put them together, the female it comes out and she's literally like gagging for it. Um, and the male just like sits there and it's right to run away, like he's just not in the mood. And I've just like checked on them and I actually have like a little pot that I use for introducing the male into the female's enclosure. And then when he's coming out, he goes back into the tub and then I put him back, put that tub back in the enclosure. I leave it in there and then he, he's free to come out as he pleases. I don't know if you can see this, but he's actually sat in the tub um, he's just sort of in there by himself so I think he might actually be uh, be ready for breeding and he's that's like his indication to say to me look I'm in the tub I'm ready to go back in there so you know so this afternoon I am going to be trying to pair them up uh, again and hopefully get a, um, a good insertion I've had I've had a, a, couple, a couple of insertions from him um, but she just doesn't seem to be doing anything with it at the moment and she still seems really eager and ready so uh, he's done his sperm web and everything so he's gonna go back in there later on and hopefully um, he will do his thing and it will work and he will go in do his thing and then get away really really fast that is that's what we're going for she was fed just like two days ago three days ago so uh, hopefully she won't be 
you know, if you don't have the appetite for a mate. So that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and the structure. Um, it's I'm trying to have a bit of structure to my videos. Um, I would really appreciate as much feedback in regards to how the structure is, the dimensions and the kind of clips and things like that. It would be very, very helpful to me. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the sort of random stories. Uh, if you'd like to hear some more stories, then uh, yeah, again, let me know. I, I have plenty of like crazy stuff to talk about, but I just don't think that people would like to hear it because People either say that I talk too much or I just don't talk enough in my videos. There isn't really a balance and I'm trying to find it. So, uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, huge thank you to my patrons. I, uh, there will be a video up for my patrons either later today or tomorrow, um, which is kind of important. So if you're a patron, make sure you check that out. I'm trying to be a bit more active on my patron page. Uh, I'm gonna be redoing the rewards as well. So if you're a patron, look out for the post regarding that. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you aren't already. It does really help me out. And stay tuned for the next video. I have uh, some more cool things planned to talk about to show you. And uh, of course, hopefully I'll see you at the lectures as well. So thank you, take care, have a lovely day, and I'll see you soon. Take care, and goodbye from everyone. All the best.